What's up everybody? I hope you guys are all doing well. It's Christian Jones here. Today in this video, I will be going over my three favorite things that I do to make my footage more cinematic. But before we do that, I just wanna show you guys how absolutely gorgeous it is out here. Wasn't that amazing? I just love it out there. It is so pretty in Utah. Okay, let's get into this video. So, as I said before, I will be going over the top three things that I do to make my footage more cinematic. The tips I'm going to be sharing with you today is all my own preference and opinion. This is just what I've done with most all my videos, and this is what I've seen to prove consistent cinematic footage. Hopefully it's helpful for you and hopefully I explain it in a way that's easy for you to understand. Coming in at number one will be to add movement. What I mean by this is add a push in, a swipe, anything that incorporates movement in your shot. It helps the audience stay more focused and stay more engaged in your videos and it makes your footage look way more cinematic, way more professional, and it makes it look like you, as a cinematographer, know what you're doing. I would say in some cases, do add movement to talking heads like this, like if you want to add emphasis, like you just saw, you would maybe want to crop in a little bit, or you could add a subtle zoom out or zoom out just now and then to emphasize or make a point just kind of seem more smooth. Hopefully that makes sense. Sometimes I'll just throw it in randomly just to keep movement and flow going throughout my whole video. When I'm talking about movement, I'm really not talking about using a gimbal. I'm talking about even just using your hands. Next, for number two, I want to talk about adding overlays. I've been doing this for quite a while now, and this really just upgrades your whole video and makes it look way more professional and higher value for the people who are watching it. Especially if you're doing this for a client, if you add some cool light leaks, anamorphic lens flares, normal lens flares, or fog or dust, it really makes the whole video just look way nicer and way more professional. I will for sure include a few free overlays that I use for my videos in the description below. Make sure to check those out and make sure to say thank you to the ones who provided them for free. If you're wondering how to add overlays to your clip using Premiere Pro, it's super easy. All you need to do is put the overlay over your existing clip, go to opacity and click on screen. Last but not least will be number three, and that is to simply add cinematic black bars. I'm sure you've seen these in all sorts of movies, short films, Hollywood productions. You notice it gives that really cropped in aspect ratio and it just makes the whole video look more professional. Another way to incorporate these would be to add the subtle in and then out on your intros and outros. It really looks good and it's just one of those small things that makes your video that much better. It's super easy to add this to your video in Premiere Pro. Simply go to your effects control, search crop, and then add whatever number you want to the top and bottom. You can even keyframe it so it goes up and down to your preference. A good number that I found for me that I use every single time is 18 on the top and 18 on the bottom. I hope this video was really helpful for you. I tried to keep it quick and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.